Hi, I'm Lari, and welcome to your 20-minute back and bicep drop set workout. What you're going to need today, dumbbells. Whatever you have, grab them for reference. I have a pair of 10s and 15s. You're going to need a mat, and you're also going to need a long resistance band. Now, most of these resistance bands, if you get them in a set, come with a door attachment handle. So go ahead and use that door attachment handle. You do not need a bench today. I'm just using mine as an anchor point. All right, y'all, here's today's format. It's a drop set. So the first exercise should be a little bit more challenging than the second. The second one is typically just gonna be a variation of the first, but just a little bit more doable. So today we have supersets. We have two exercises at a time. We'll repeat each superset just once. The first exercise will be performed for one minute. We'll then have five seconds to quickly transition. And then the second exercise, which will be the drop, will also be performed for a minute. After that second exercise, we'll get 15 seconds to recover. So your first superset is going to be our warm up. It's going to be body weight only. It may burn a little bit, but blocks two, three, and four, we go from dumbbell to band. So we'll only have five seconds to get rid of those dumbbells and go to our bands and begin. Get set up though. Every exercise is time. So we do not have to go at the same pace ever. Quality over quantity always. So here's how your screen's going to look like. All right. So minimal talking for me today with about 15 seconds to go, you're going to see a demo up in this upper hand corner. Once you hear that ding, we've moved on. Up in this corner will be the current exercise and below that will be the clock, the timer. Down here is the current superset that we're currently on. All right, y'all, this one's pretty quick. It's a little over 20 minutes, right around 23-ish minutes. Let's just get to work. Grab all your stuff and let's get going. All right, our first exercise is going to be performed in a prone position on your tummy. So we have super set or supermans first. So Y position with the arms, use your upper back to initiate the movement, lower back, upper glutes uh, to bring it up. Pause for one second before bringing it down. Now we have that for a minute and then we're gonna rest the head, rest the legs and we have uh, snow angels, reverse snow angels. And we're going to go pinkies together, thumbs together. It's going to be kind of hard for me to talk with this mic. It's going to sound muffled. So I'm going to limit the talking during this exercise. We begin with Superman's in three, two, and one. Control it. Make it slow. Why you want to run away? Why you got to be I wish I could make you stay, cause baby I love you, why you trying to break us up, when I'm trying to build it up, I wish I could make you stop, cause baby I love you, guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight, I'm gonna miss your body, you know I can never get it right, without you, no, I don't wanna step into the light, if I don't get you shawty, three two and one all right we're letting the head and feet rest keep the abs super tight so abs stay tight we go pinkies together and then thumbs together pinkies together thumbs together this is a really good mobility exercise for posture as well Last three, two, and one. All right, we get 15 seconds to recovery, then we're doing that again. Now for the Supermans, make sure, whoops, make sure you're not leading with the head. So your spine is staying nice and still and you're leading from the back. So don't make the movement with the head. Your back is initiating the movement. Stranger 
Draw the bottom of the shoulder blade slightly towards the opposite hip. Last three, two, and one. All right, we have those prone snow angels, pinkies and thumbs together. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. All right, first dumbbell exercise. We have a hip hinge neutral grip row. So I'm gonna grab my 15s. I'm gonna put my mic back in its spot. Here we go, grab your dumbbells. Abs stay tight, drive the dumbbells back towards the hip. So our abs are staying tight, lat muscles are doing the work here. So think of driving it back and then up. We go to your band, Dante Rose. Let's go. Oh, I'm just anchoring mine real quick. So from here, we're going back to that hip hinge position. And then same, same concept, but it's more of a horizontal row now as we drive the elbows towards the hips. Last three, two, and one. Wow, okay, we're gonna go for round two. Make any adjustments that you need to make right now. You can lighten the weight, grab a drink of water. I'm gonna fix my mic real quick. Here we go, <laughs> neutral grip rows. They came up on us, the core stays tight. <laughs> Hip hinge, and let's get those lats working. one wow Dante Rose grab your band wow 
here's the drop, we're fatigued. That's the whole point, but this is gonna be doable. If needed, you can always walk it closer to your anchor point. Last three, two, and one. All right, next up, we have a dumbbell followed by a banded exercise that we're gonna anchor with our feet. So now, I'm gonna grab my dumbbells, hybrid upright row to supinate a curl. New block, all right, yes, let's go. So for this hybrid upright row, we're going in a circular motion to target the upper back. So instead of going here, we're going here and it's gonna be a little bit more friendly on your shoulders as well. In five seconds, we grab our band, anchor it underneath your feet. Let's go, bicep curls. When I'm around you, we can break up and then make up. I always come back to you. You move me in a way never thought anyone could you give me how you're my drug when I am feeling blue. Yeah, it's all you. Cause you're the And one, Ooh, shake it out. Okay, round two coming up. Uh, okay, so this next time we're still doing a dumbbell hybrid rows to bicep curls, but for that, we're gonna switch to banded uh, upright rows. All right, let's go. Grab your band in three, two, and one. This time, banded upright row. So we're gonna switch it up. Try not to bring it down and lose full tension. So we're gonna maintain constant tension in the upper back. Still bringing it around in that little semi-circular motion.
and one. All right, y'all, we have a hip hinge wide raise. I'm gonna go to my lighter weights and then we have banded reverse flies. So anchor it back to whatever you got. Y raises, so we're just bringing it up like this, targeting the upper part of your back. A little bit of medial delts as well, but we're right here, hip hinge position. Bring it to a Y, control it down. I'll give you a different view. Last three, two, and one. All right, we're going to your band, anchor it around something and then cross it. So we have reverse fly. So I'm gonna cross my band. And then from here, maintaining a neutral grip, slight bend of the elbows, but using the back of my shoulders or the upper part of my back to make this movement. I would give you a different view, but then I would tip over my bench. So use the rear delts to bring you out. Like we're going around a beach ball, so very soft elbows, but then we're not hinging anymore from the elbows. Last three, two, and one. Wow. Okay, we're doing that one more time. Adjust your weight as needed. Uh, you will have to probably go a little bit lighter with the Y raises to get that full range of motion, so honor that. Here we go. Y position, pronated grip. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. All right, grab your band. We have reverse flies. Get set and then go. And one. All right, we are done with this band. Okay, next up we have a dumbbell jump back plank. At the top, we're gonna add a uh, hammer curl, and then we're gonna stay in that plank position and do a one dumbbell plank pull through. So take your time with this. So bend, hinge, 
you're not using your low back from here, jump back, control it, core staying engaged. Jump back in, wide stance, use the lower body to bring you back up. One hammer curl, and then do it again. The option will be to step back, step in, bring it up, hammer curl, or you can just stay in this hammer curl. Last three, two, and one. All right, place one dumbbell off to the side. We have a plank pull through, so come onto your hands. From here, widen your stance. We're working on anti-rotation of the hips and your back. So shift the weight into the left hand, grab the dumbbell underneath the body, bring it through to the other side. Shift the weight into the right hand, reach the hand, left hand underneath the body, pull it through to the other side. If needed, Release the knees down to the ground. You could also bring this in a quadruped or tabletop position. Core and back are working together on this one. Come on. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Ooh, wow. Okay, y'all. We're doing that one more time. Then we're done. We got this. Heart rate's going up a little bit. Yay. Here we go. One more time. Let's do it. Last three, two, and one. Remove one dumbbell. I'm gonna start with my dumbbell on the left side. Widen your stance, so anti-rotation of the hips. Hips stay as still as possible. Slight posterior tilt to really stabilize the hips as well. Right hand reaches underneath, pull that dumbbell through. Hand reaches underneath the body to grab that dumbbell. Last three, two, and one. Nice. Where it go ahead. My body just wants to naturally go back to child's pose. So go ahead and do that. Quick stretch, because this was a quick workout. All right, let's bring it forward. Let's go ahead, roll off the wrist, and then flip the grip. So your pink, your, your fingers are pointing towards your quads, and then very slowly bring it back. If you want to find some movement, Give yourself some circles. If you're doing the circles, reverse it.
bring that to a stop. Keep your hips stacked over your knees. Walk the hands out. Let's stretch the lats. And when you're ready, frame the face with both hands. Nice work today. Meet me on an easy seat. We're just gonna open up the upper body a little bit. So bring your hands. This is a great stretch for mobility as well. It's more mobility than static. Uh, so bring your hands to the traps and then we're just gonna chicken wing it out and in. This is a great mobility, uh, little dynamic stretch to do. Oh, if you are at a computer or if you're in a position that would put you in thoracic kyphosis or forward head, upper cross syndrome, whatever you want to call it, this is a great one. All right, let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Inhale, one arm up. Just get a side body reach. And press off, let's do the other side. Ooh, that felt good. All right, inhale up. Oh, little back bend as we exhale, open up. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, look up. And as we exhale, open. Ooh, y'all, nice work today. 20 minutes, y'all, that burned for me. Uh, how did you do? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, your love and support always means the world. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. <laughs> tag me in your posts on store or tag your video in your posts and stories on IG at Laurie Midkiff. Y'all know I'm really, I, I don't get on social media a lot and I probably never will. So, uh, but I do check, I do check and I do see your, see your posts. Uh, Facebook, I have a group, Fit by Laurie group, uh, public and private. Facebook is a, is a fun world. So I'll try to post more in there, but again, I'm gonna try. Okay, so let me know what you would like to see in the comments below. And as always, I'm gonna stop talking. Just keep being your awesome self. You rock. Have an amazing rest of the day.